So what do you get when you combine Indiana Jones, the Fast and the Furious movies, and superheroes with laser shards? Of course, I'm talking about 2018 superhero opus from James Wan, Aquaman. We're going to break down the Ultra HD Blu-ray release today. Well, I'm back. Let's break down uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Aquaman. First off, let's start with the good. And there's a lot of good to be had here. Much like the Fast and Furious franchise of films, this movie knows all too well what it is, and it revels in it. This movie is bonkers. It throws so much at you that it can be hard to keep up sometimes. But the good thing about it is that it is keeping up with the source material, which is key, in my opinion, to a good film. Honestly, if you were making a film about Aquaman, Swinging for the Fences is not the worst of ideas. The cast in this movie is great as well. Jason Momoa really does carry this film very well with his natural charisma, in my opinion. I was a little worried because of how much of a mess uh, Justice League was. But honestly, Justice League was an enjoyable mess, but a mess nonetheless. And I was very worried about the tone of this film because Momoa's quips didn't seem to work very well in the um, lead up to the film. But honestly, now that I've seen the film, it's bananas and it works perfectly, honestly. The rest of the cast is great as well. Um, everybody from Willem Dafoe to even freaking Dolph Lundgren is in this movie. And they need to cast more people like Dolph Lundgren, honestly, in films. Dolph Lundgren really has shown in like a couple of films, including Creed 2, that he can really handle a meaty role very well. And I'm very happy to see him in this kind of role. And um, especially in Creed 2, which was his performance was a little bit better than this movie, but... Honestly, this movie is ridiculous, so you gotta kind of go with it. And honestly, he had the be he made the best of that this too. But anyways, um, honestly, overall, I thought this movie was a lot of fun, and I really, really loved it. Now for the parts that didn't work for me, the bad. Honestly, Amber Heard's mirror never connected with me. I don't know what it is. She just didn't seem like she wanted to be there or what. It just felt like she was kind of above the role and she just, her delivery was flat and I did not feel any connection to Momoa the whole time I was watching the film, which is such a shame because Momoa had great charisma throughout the movie. Um, the only other complaint I really have, and I can't really complain too much about this, is that the movie felt a little overstuffed. There was a lot going on getting thrown in there, but I can completely understand it just based on the fact that when you're doing a movie like Aquaman, who has such a reputation with audiences, it's hard to tell if you're ever going to get a second film with this. But considering this movie made over a billion dollars, I think we're going to get a second sit on movie. And now, on to the ugly only thing I could honestly say that just was ugly was the CGI. There was points where the CGI was so blatantly green screen that I just could not help but feel like I was watching an eyesore. I honestly do not think that is enough to harm the film overall though, so I can't just say not recommend this film because the good well outweighs the bad here. And now folks, on to the Blu-ray review portion of this. Now for the actual disc portion of this review. This is a 2K digital interpositive upscaled to 4K. The aspect ratio comes as a 2.39 to 1 and um, actually interf interfuses with the um, IMAX ratio of 1.78 to 1 and then there is um, Dolby Atmos for the audio quality. This is a really another really good um, 4K um, Blu-ray from Warner Brothers. They are um, knocking it out of the park with um, Fantastic Beasts and now this. The HDR is incredible on this release. I cannot believe how good this looks, even for just an upscale. I am very, very happy with how this turned out. Um, I hope you guys are um, enjoying this as well. But I would definitely recommend this as a piece of eye candy. And if you don't even have 4K yet, get this version for when you do upgrade. Because the um, Blu-ray disc and just turning it in and looking at it for a moment for comparison's sake still looks really, really good. There are special features on this movie, but don't expect much, much like any other release these days. There's not a lot to be had, unfortunately. A lot of, basically, electronic press kits here. Um, still, yet, this is a good release. Uh, like I said before, I definitely recommend it overall. Um, if you are looking to pick this movie up, this is definitely the version to pick up. I 
do kind of want to see it in 3D though, because there were some scenes that could look like it could really benefit from 3D. But um, uh, otherwise though, I know the aspect ratio does not switch like it does for the IMAX scenes in the 3D version, which is unfortunate for any 3D fans out there. Um, anyways though guys, definitely recommend this, and I will see you guys in the next video.